Research has revealed that there are many reasons people don't wear their life jackets. Some say they don't wear their life jacket because they can swim. But the combination of surprise and, depending on water temperature, the physiological effects of sudden immersion into cold water, like under 15 degrees, for example, can turn an accidental dip into a fight for your life. Some say they can get their life jacket on if they need it. We put that statement to the test with some boaters at Dockside. We tested how fast they could find and get their life jackets on, and the results were interesting. It really reinforced the point that it takes time to get into your jacket, often time you don't have. Failed. We all sank. Um, it seems like uh, our zipper was corroded in, uh, down in our hatch, so we couldn't get open and uh, get our life jackets out. So what does that mean? It means uh, we probably would perish in an actual emergency. Also, most people end up in the water unexpectedly, without an opportunity to grab a life jacket. Even those that do end up in the water with their life jacket near them find getting it on in the water can be very difficult. So we invited some experienced boaters to give it a try. We gave them 60 seconds, and the results were quite consistent. That's just it, right? Is that you never know what's going to happen and you can't anticipate that kind of thing. And, you know, experienced or not experienced, I think that I, I could have kept myself above water for a short period of time, but I couldn't have kept myself above water for the amount of time that I needed for someone to get to me. Finding a proper life jacket and then trying to figure out how it unzips. And then the worst part was trying to put it on. But then you start thinking that, hey, you know, if this wasn't a real situation, I'd probably be in real trouble. Uh, experience here today was I didn't know what to expect coming in, but uh, it was definitely an interesting experience and I learned um, that at first I didn't actually know how to put a life jacket on in the water and so it took me a little bit to learn that, uh, that part of it. Well, I'd say the toughest thing was finding a life jacket that fits. Uh, it's a bit of an acrobatic stunt, I think. You have to kind of go underwater and come up in the right spot, I think. By the second time I was a little tired, the life jacket wouldn't unzip, so it kind of felt like if this was the real world, I would be in trouble. <laughs> more and more people are getting it. And with the new styles of life jackets and PFDs to fit everyone's boating lifestyles, wearing it whenever you're aboard is not only smarter, it's also becoming more commonplace. I would definitely recommend uh, getting a properly fit life jacket, possibly getting an expert to uh, have it fit for you and wear it at all times when you're on the water. It's a lot more difficult to put it on in the water than it is when you're in the boat still, or on the dock for that matter. The time to put the life jacket on is when you're out of the water before you get in the water.